Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. In a previous video, we looked at how to create a sales order in MYOB Advanced. In this video, we'll see how you can process a sales order after it's been created. Once you've created a sales order, the next step in the sales process is to generate a shipment for it. If the items on the order are in more than one warehouse, you'll need to create a separate shipment record for each warehouse. When you're ready to ship some or all of the items on the sales order, open the sales order screen and click Create Shipment from the Actions drop-down. Enter the date of the shipment and select the warehouse that items will be shipped from. This creates a shipment record and takes you to the shipment screen automatically. The shipment shows the quantities that will be shipped. If there isn't enough stock on hand to fulfill the whole shipment, you may need to put it on back order. You may need to generate a picklist for the shipment. To do this, click Print Picklist from the Actions drop-down. Once the stock has been picked and is ready to ship, make sure the shipment is no longer on hold, and then click Confirm Shipment from the Actions drop-down. This indicates that the items have now shipped and reduces the stock on hand quantities accordingly. Once an order has shipped, the next task will be to raise an invoice for it. On the shipment screen, click Prepare Invoice from the Actions drop-down to create an invoice for the shipment. This takes us to the invoices form where the new invoice is displayed. As with the sales order, you can use the reports drop-down to generate the invoice in PDF format for sending to the customer, or you can click email invoice from the actions drop-down to email the invoice to the customer. The final step is to release the invoice, which again can be done from the actions drop-down. Clicking release releases the invoice to the accounts receivable module and sets its status to open. The invoice will be set to closed once it's been fully paid. And that's the end of our look at processing a sales order through to an invoice. This video showed an example of manually processing a single order, but MIOB Advanced also has features that let you automate parts of the process or perform bulk actions on many orders. We'll look at these in another video. If you want to learn more about any of this, visit the MYOB Advanced Education Centre or see the other videos in our Advanced Academy series. Thanks for watching.